The supermarket growth largely has been due to the increase in the middle income in the population, which has called, of course uh, given rise to a change in uh, tastes, equality. This also has some uh, implication because most of these goods which are, are sold in supermarkets are sourced somewhere. Some are sourced locally, but mostly they are also imported from South Africa. Local suppliers, domestic manufacturing companies can also leverage this and grow and be able to supply the supermarket. So this could be a win-win situation. While the South African supermarkets have come, they have not fully embraced and tried to support the growth of the local manufacturing. Also at the same time, the policy framework on the ground in the country has not helped to sort of grow these local suppliers to be able to supply into the supermarket chains. These are foreign supermarkets and so what they in, they take out. But if local suppliers are able to put things on the shelf, then of course the retain, some of the retains are remaining in the country, which would be a source of uh, revenue for the economy. Our research finds that there are challenges uh, on both uh, sides, on the suppliers, and also on um, the side of uh, the supermarkets themselves. On the suppliers, some of the challenges are that uh, there are more additional standards which the supermarkets place on the local suppliers in order for them to qualify to supply the supermarkets, which are sometimes uh, beyond the local standards, the Bureau, uh, Zambia Bureau of Standards. And this, of course, place extra costs or additional costs on the suppliers to penetrate the supermarket chains. There are also issues of payment. These are local suppliers who need cash flow, but some of these supermarkets uh, require that once you supply them, you have to wait 90 days for you to get paid. And this, of course, affects uh, the cash flow for local suppliers, some of them who cannot wait that long and therefore it inhibits them. There is need for some fund which helps to support local suppliers to be able to improve their packaging, their quality, to be able to penetrate the supermarkets. Our key messages for policy are that um, there is a win-win uh, situation here. If local suppliers can be, the, the capacity can be improved and they're able to penetrate the supermarket value chains. That would help boost the local production, local manufacturing in the country, at the same time provide more variety for uh, the goods and services. If the retail sector can be able to push or support the manufacturing sector, who are supplying into the rich sector, this indeed would contribute uh, to uh, the growth of the economy.